Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Becca and today I have an unboxing of the December Owl Crate. So this was kindly sent to me by Owl Crate to show to you guys, so thank you very much Owl Crate for that. If you are unfamiliar with Owl Crate, it is a US based monthly young adult sci-fi fantasy mainly, but not always, monthly subscription box. If you would like to get your hands on your very own Owl Crates after seeing this video, I do have a discount code for you guys. My code is Becca and that will get you a discount off your purchase. I am excited for this, mainly because it's a weird size, I think it seems shorter than a normal Owl Crate. So I'm wondering what's in here, but let's crack it open. It's just, it's falling. There we go. Oh. <laughs> uh. Let's just grab the things I threw on the floor. So I believe that the theme for this is something to do with trickery, but we have the spoiler card here, which has some cute art on it. It's like a Christmas party theme that we like. And here is the spoiler card. You can pause that if you'd like to read it and see what's in here, but I am not going to. You guys know I go in blind. So the first item we have in here is the one that launched itself onto the floor, and that is the monthly enamel pin. Now in every Alcrate box there is a pin. I don't know if that will be going forward into 2020. They have done it, I'm assuming, for the entirety of 2019. But this one was designed by Read and Wonder. It is this thorny castle. I'm not sure if this has significance to the book or not. It sometimes does. That's very pretty. I like the glittery bits in the background as well. So the first item we have, I believe, this is the reason I wanted to specifically film this unboxing today. Because these are Caraval earmuffs. And let me tell you, the weather has gone extremely cold in the UK at the moment. Probably not as cold as anybody in the US is experiencing it, but are these right? Is this how I'm supposed to wear these? So I'm just gonna take these off because I can't hear myself, but I will be making use of these while it's freezing. So next up we have, oh, this is what was rattling. I kept shaking this and I felt like something may have smashed. Very glad it didn't because that would have been upsetting. But here we have a set of 12 colored pencils, I do believe. Cause it says on the back that these are custom made with bookworms in mind. So yeah, okay. So there is text on the end of them. I won't show you them all because there's a lot, there's 12, but I'll show you a couple. So this one's bookstagram. So these are pretty cool. I do have colored pencils, but to be honest, I don't actually know where they are. But um, I do use them occasionally in my planner, so these will get some use out of me. Next up, we have a candle, which is by Novelly Yours, and oh my god. Okay, so this is called Mount Rowan, and it is fire and cinnamon chai. If you buy candles from me, you will know that I really like my vanilla and cinnamon scents. Oh, it's a woodwick as well, so we're already on to a winner. Oh, that smells so good. I love that. Okay, this is inspired by Grace and Fury, which is not a book that I have read. So next we have another little owl crate box. I love the little custom boxes they have made for things. So this is a Sky in the Deep hand warmer. It says, once activated, this magic heat pad will instantly and safely heat up to approximately 129 degrees Fahrenheit. It's great for warming hands in the winter and to help soothe mus muscle aches, cramps, arthritis, pain, and tendonitis. It can be re reused more than 100 times. So it says, to activate, place the metal piece between forefinger and thumb, press until it clicks, and begins crystallizing. And then you can recharge it by placing it in boiling water with a cloth underneath. Boil for about five minutes or until all of the crystals have fully dissolved and become clear again. So that may be useful. I've never had one of these. I have seen them, but I've never had one. Oh, and I should probably show you the design on it actually, because it does say, breathe fire. Next up we have a pack, oh, book sleeve. I love book sleeves. This one says, it was always wise to be polite to books, whether or not they could hear you. Which I'm assuming is a quote, and the quote is from Sorcery of Thorns, which is a book that I very much want to read. Okay, this is cool. I imagine this is what the um, pencils are for. This is an Owl Crate coloring book, and it has... I'll just do a little flip through, I probably won't do all of the pages. I feel like I recognize some of these designs. Are these, let me flick to the back. These are the pins. These are the monthly pins, which is great because there is also 
a guide at the bottom to all of the pins. So I think I have from here onwards. So I have these five and then all of these I don't have. So that's cool because now I can see the ones that I missed out on. Oh, June was really pretty. And so was July. And then last up, we have the book, which is one that I wanted. And this is beautiful. This is a book that I really wanted. But I did not, it's not on my wish list or anything. Because I have read a book by this author. Just one. I own two others that I haven't read yet. We have a letter from the author here. And I didn't love it. And to be fair, it was the one book from the authors that I didn't really want to read. It was a Bacopoly Punishment book, which is why I did read it. But I just, I feel like I've been burned by that author, okay? So the book is The Guinevere Deception. This is a very shiny cover, but I'll, can I hold it like this? Every book that comes in an Owl Crate is a completely exclusive to Owl Crate cover. So as usual, I will overlay the original cover over the top so that you can see the difference. We also have on here that beautiful dust jacket art, which I really, really love. Uh, yeah, it's a very, very beautiful book. So this is by Kirsten White, and Kirsten White traditionally writes retellings. The one that I read that I didn't love is The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein, but I did want to read this because I really do enjoy Arthurian legend. So let me read you the dust jacket. Princess Guinevere has come to Camelot to wed a stranger, the charismatic King Arthur. With magic clawing at the kingdom's borders, the great wizard Merlin conjured a solution, sending Guinevere to be Arthur's wife and his protector from those who want to see the young king's idyllic city fail. The catch, Guinevere's real name and her true identity is a secret. She is a changeling, ooh, a girl who has given up everything to protect Camelot. To keep Arthur safe, Guinevere must navigate a course in which the old, including Arthur's own family, demand that things continue as they have been, and the new, those drawn by the dream of Camelot, fight for a better way to live. And always, in the green hearts of forests and the black depths of lakes, magic lies in wait to reclaim the land. Arthur's knights believe they are strong enough to face any threat, but Guinevere knows it would take more than swords to keep Camelot free. Deadly jousts, duplicious knights and forbidden romances are nothing compared to the greatest threat of all. The girl with the long knotted black hair riding on horseback through the dark woods toward Arthur. Because when your whole existence is a lie, how can you trust even yourself? The first book in the Camelot rising trilogy this sounds amazing yeah i'm really excited to read this now and i've kind of reignited my interest in it even though as i said i've been burned by kirsten white before so the last thing we have in the box is just the newsletter for the month Ooh, that spoiler card is stunning vengeance will be mine very excited about this one guys so that is pretty much it for the december owl crate please let me know which item from this box was your guys favorite mine was the book sleeve i love me a book sleeve please also don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to if you head to my description box you will find a link to owl crates all of their social media and of course my discount code if you would like to get your own you'll also find a link to my goodreads instagram and twitter if you'd like to follow me on any of those as well as link to my bookish body website and candle website the Instagram for that and 10% off discount code. That's it from me today, guys. Bye. Oh, you bite your friend like chocolate. You say you will go where nobody knows. With guns in under our petticoats. We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no.